Hi guys, it is April from Getting Hugga With It. Today we are here to do the middle grade book tag. I was kindly tagged by Katie from Life Between Words. It is middle grade March. I have been doing a little bit of reading middle grade. Um, and this was originally created by the Curly Reader. I didn't know about her before and I've subscribed. She looks fantastic. Anyway, we are going to get into the questions. I think there are eight. So let's hop right in. Um, speaking of children, I've got one right here. Little Nora has just woken up from her nap. And so she's going to join us for this book tag. She might have a lot to say. So be prepared. <laughs> So the first question is, what is the last middle grade book that you've read? So the last one I read is The War That Saved My Life by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley. Um, this also has a sequel, but it follows um, two children during World War II. They originally live in London with their very abusive mother. Um, but they are sent, like many children in Britain, to the countryside um, when World War II kind of breaks out. And they're sent to go and live with a woman who didn't really want to take anyone in. She's in the grieving process. But she agrees to take in these two kids. And our main character, sure. Ada, um, has a club foot. And her mother has treated her so horribly all of her life. Um, because she has this, um, truly, truly abusive. Uh, it was so good. I loved every second of reading this. It was also very sad, but also very hopeful, which is very nice. Um, I am planning on reading Anne of Green Gables this month, and I know the story of Anne, and this kind of had some Anne vibes to me, which made me happy. Um, and uh, I just adored it. So that's the last one I read. Okay, question number two. What is a mil middle grade book that someone read to you as a child? <sighs> we'll just wait for Libby to stop barking at no one. Uh, so my mom read to me constantly as a child. She read like Judy Bloom. Uh, but one of the ones that I really remember reading with her is James and the Giant Peach. I think it like brought out, <laughs> I have like a fear of um, being in tight places and James, as well as an assortment of creatures, ends up in this giant peach. And it's their adventure in this weird peach. And I don't remember it incredibly well because it's been a hot second since I've been a child and someone has been reading a book to me. But I just remember being totally like kind of horrified for James and also amazed and interested in the story. And I definitely like to read that to little Nora one day, one day, but not yet. Um, we're still on like good night moon stuff. So question number three is what was your favorite middle grade book as a child? And I had a few favorites. I mean, I loved, yes. Wow. I loved, um, the, Babysitter Club books. I really loved those. But one of the books that I remember like racing to the library to get anything in this series was Bonicula. Does anyone else remember this? I was an 80s child. Um, this was a book about a vampire bunny. <laughs> so ridiculous. But I liked kind of scary things right from the get-go. I really, really did. So... Yeah, that was a favorite of mine. Question number four, what is your favorite middle grade book as an adult? Now I took a children's literature class at Queens University. I did English Lit and there was this children's lit class and I was like, I am taking that. And at that class, I read so many classics and also new classics. And I think we can all agree, so books everywhere. I think we can all agree that Harry Potter is going to be a new classic. And I became obsessed with Harry Potter. So I'm like one of the probably the few people on booktube that didn't read Harry Potter as a child. I read it as an adult. 
And I've just never been so sucked in in my entire life. Like, uh. That's right. I was one of those people that would um, buy the book, like pre-order the next book in the series, like wait patiently at the door for the Amazon delivery guy to show up. And I just loved the Harry Potter series so much. I'm not even going to say what it's about because I feel like everyone knows at this point. So magical. This world is so good. And I feel like JK Rowling has so many important lessons that she imparts on children in this book series. And I really love that. So yeah, Harry Potter all the way. Question number five, who is your favorite middle grade author? Um, so I think my favorite is most likely Frances Hodgson Burnett. For some reason, I have a hard time saying her name. She wrote A Little Princess. She also wrote The Secret Garden. And they are stories that um, are so comforting and also tell so many um, important lessons to kids. But I just, I loved them both so so much. Um, a Little Princess is about a little girl who goes to a boarding school. Her father is a, a diplomat. I can't remember what his her father is. He's a very wealthy man and he passes away. And so because she can't pay for this boarding school, she is basically relegated to take care of all of the other children who stay at this boarding school. So she, she becomes a, a bit of a servant and it is about redemption and oh my goodness, and The Secret Garden is also so beautifully written and just such heartwarming and heartbreaking stories. I love them both so much. So I would say she's probably my favorite. Question number six, what middle grade book do you think should be required reading in school? And this is very hard to say. Um, I mean, you could pick almost any of the books that I've mentioned here and it, they would be great. I think if we're talking modern things that have recently been published, um, I would say Sweep. I just recently read this and loved it so much. Right from the get-go, I was sucked in, and that hurts. That's my hair, Nora. Can you just... No. Ow. Thank you. Um, this is about a, a little girl named Nan, and she is a chimney sweep. She um, is orphaned. She lives in Victorian London, and yeah, she becomes a chimney sweep, and it is about one day when she gets stuck in a chimney which is the worst nightmare for a chimney sweep because you can die like you can get stuck there and die children died so often in those times who were chimney sweeps she gets stuck and a monster saves her and it is so heartwarming um this made me tear up quite a few times um I, I think it's important to teach children that, um, especially in a Western society, um, although poverty can absolutely exist in a Western society, so many children are don't grow up in poverty and don't see what that is and don't see the injustice of it. And I think it's important for kids to know that some kids are growing up in poverty and are being treated improperly. It's also important to show them like, where we've been, like Victorian London is actually uh, similar in some ways to places around the world. But, you know, in Western society, we used to work six days a week and sometimes seven days a week. And um, we used to put children to work and uh, it's horrible. And I, I just, I think it's an important, there's so many important lessons in here about love and what you do for people that you love. I just adored this book and I think it would be a good lesson about history and and about kindness. So yeah, that's sweep. Question number seven is, what is your favorite middle grade cover? I love all of the Puffin and Bloom covers. They are stunning. I only own one of them and it's Anne of Green Gables. I'd love to own them all, but one day 
I actually got this at a charity shop. Who in the world was getting rid of Anne? Um, anyway, I just think this is gorgeous. The Little Women one is also stunning. Um, but the only problem with the Puffin and Bloom is that they haven't come out with the entire series. So Anne is a series, and so is Little Women. Um, and they've only come out with the first one. So that's a problem. And they, if they get on that, like, I would collect them all. Um, so I would say, Anne, isn't that gorgeous? Sorry, I've had to move around a little bit because Nora is squirming away. Um, and the last question is, what is your favorite middle grade book to screen adaptation? And this one I knew the answer to immediately. And it's Little Women. So I have this copy of Little Women. I have only read half of Little Women. I had another copy where I, I had read it and I thought it was the whole the whole book, but it was only half of it. So I need to read the other half. I'm kind of hoping to save it for Christmas. Okay, so there is the most re recent adaptation for Little Women, which I adored. I thought it played with the storyline really, really well, going from past to present. I thought it was a more feminist tale, even though this is explicitly and very clearly feminist. That really put it in your face. But I love the like 1990s version with Winona Ryder as Joe. I loved that adaptation so much. I remember going to see it with my mom and my sister and we went to go and see the most recent one together as well. And I just adored that adaptation. It's very, very true to the book. Um, so I would say it has to be Little Women. So that is the middle grade book tag. I have a couple of people I wanna tag. I would love to see Jen Campbell do this tag. I'd really love to see what middle grade books she's loved. I'd also like to tag Amy Poole, who takes care of little ones. Um, I think she's an early childhood educator. I'd love to see what she has to say. And then I also want to tag Sophia Reeds, who's one of my favorite booktubers ever. Um, and those are my people that I'd like to tag. I hope that you have enjoyed this tag um, and Nora's little appearance. Sorry for the squirming, but life as a mama. I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know in the comments below what some of your favorite middle grade books have been. I'd love to know. Also, I'm getting much better in the description box. You can go and check out my Amazon wish list, my Goodreads page, my Instagram page. Yeah, so check me out and we will chat soon. Bye guys. Bye. Yeah.